Good evening, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good week. I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Uh, we're doing a lot here in Canada to flatten the curve. Uh, it's looking good, which is fabulous because I'm dying to see my grandbabies and my daughters. And so that is what's going on here. I hope everything's going well where you are. It's spring. We went and did it. This is all, this is all kind of interesting stuff. We put in an order at uh, Bradford Greenhouses and we did a curbside pickup. And we got all the plants and stuff that, uh, the annuals that we usually put in. I got a brand new lilac tree uh, for out the back here. I love the smell of lilacs, oh, just love them. Um, and we have a new magnolia to go out the front with the one that's out there. Um, I'll be able to, uh, we're not planting them right away because they are saying that um, we're gonna have a, maybe have a uh, bit of a cold spell coming in this weekend. Uh, Mother Nature is, I guess, gonna rip us off for our spring um, one weekend, but that's okay. So next week we'll get things planted and I will take pictures as things progress. I've been a gardener um, longer than I've been an artist because um, I lived with my grandparents and my grandfather was an avid gardener and he had the most beautiful gardens in Leaside and um, People would come by and ask him how he did this and how he did that, and he'd give them pieces. And um, so I learned from the very best. Yes, I did. So tonight we're going to do um, something different. And I'm going to do a table, um, tray table, table tray. I've got the design planned out. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of sparkle and this and that. And at the same time, I'm going to, after I do that pour, I got a beautiful, beautiful piece of walnut from, well, I got two, from my wood guy. And it has, this one is a Y and it has a crack. And I'm going to do a bit of a river pour just in that little tiny spot. So I'll pour it tonight, but not on here. It's no big deal right now. So let's come on down. And then I have stuff to tell you afterwards. So let's come on down. I got a new stand, by the way, a new bar. Let's see if you can see it. See, new bar. And it's really cool. So let's see if we can. There we go get this going. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue down the pieces and I've marked out where everything's going to go. So what I'm going to do first is just put the glue down. This is the original tack glue so it looks white but it dries clear which is perfect. Mind you, it's not like you're going to see it underneath, not in this case. These bigger ones need, because you'll see what they're going to be in a sec. So I'm just putting the glue down where I marked my spots with a pen. And then we'll get started putting them down. So I'm going to take my gloves off for this because this isn't resin and I need to be able to use my fingers. So what I'm doing 
is a design in this one. Do you remember the black shell one that I did? Well, this is the same kind of table, but it is not the shells. These are the coasters I made with this mold. And I made them just because I had leftover stuff and I could sell them as a set. But you know what? I thought of this idea. And so why not? Right? Why not? So there we go. They're going to sit there. Then this is my idea. I've got, did I want the big, the small, the big, the small? Yep. I've got these half pearls. These ones are white to go with the white in here. And I'm going large, small, large, small. And I'm just gonna do that in the sections between these coasters. So we're gonna have coasters built right into a tray table. So just stick them down. They are gonna need a little bit of time to glue, but that's okay because what I am going to do between all that is I am going to sprinkle my beautiful blue glass. in between everything. And yes, I do know that's a lot of glass, but it's going to be so pretty and sparkly. even. Okay, so doing this will even it out. Now I will take, no, I need a soft brush. Soft brush and just Brush the glass off of the coasters which by the way has a bit of the exact color glass inside them anyway. Make sure my little domes are visible, visual, visible. Get 
it so you can see some of the pieces that were already in the coasters when I made them I used this gloss as well okay good good that's a dark piece of something don't want it in there that's not Some of these are mirrored on one side and blue on the other. And I'm not going to sit here and go around and turn them all over to the blue. They are perfect just the way they are. And so now we are going to make up. We're going to clean this up a bit. Clean as I go. We're going to make up some resin and pour it on top and hope not too much floats I'm sure some will um, but let's hope not a major amount right okay so remember my resin is two to one and so we want I want 24 ounces, so that's eight and 16, we'll bring it to 24. So I'm starting with part A, I don't usually. So I'm going to the 16 with my part A and to the 24 with my part B, which is the hardener. And I'm also going to save some of this to do this river pour, which I've already made a cup up of the color I'm using. Now we'll just give it a good stir. So guys, what I wanted to talk to you about while I'm stirring this is I've got my wood guy. Well, you know I sell the rounds uh, on the website. Well, I've got my wood guy making a few new pieces for me that I am going to uh, show you. One night we'll sit and we'll do a resin on them. And then they're going on the website. You can buy the blank MDF. It's going to be a chicken, a butterfly, and a pumpkin. And he's doing a family tree for me. If that works out well, then it'll go on the website too. But I'm going to definitely have the chicken. It's a really nice chicken. Um, a pumpkin for Halloween time, fall. Uh, yeah, why am I thinking about that now when... Summer isn't even here yet, but you know, and a beautiful butterfly. So when he gets those done and I'm going to put them up on the website for sale so you can buy the MDF shapes that you'd like. And if you guys have any other ideas, any other shapes you'd like me within reason, guys, don't go huge, but to see if my wood guy can make up that you'd like, just shoot me a message. You know that. PM me or email me or leave it in the box down below. And I can talk to him and see what all he can do. I'll tell you, he is the best. And my wood girl, I am so blessed. I have an amazing wood guy and an amazing wood girl with her live edge wood that she does for me. Okay, so I'm going to pour some of this in here. This will probably need two coats, but right now it's just going to get one. One coat. 
one coat. This will settle it well. Cure overnight. Oops, don't want to do that. It'll cure overnight. And tomorrow I can do the second layer. But I think it's going to look really cool just like this. Be nice and sparkly. Okay, let's use the heat gun to get this out. Okay, there's my ounce of that, so I'll leave you there. Now I'm just going to heat this, not blow. Heat this, because it'll move around better when it's heated. And then it'll just level itself out. We just want everything wet with the resin, then I'll, you know, it will level itself out and be fine when I put the second coat on it tomorrow. But I definitely want it all wet, and there we go. That's it, it's all wet. There's a little piece of glass there. Can the glass move along? Nope. There is a little hair. So there we go. And we will leave that just the way it is. And I may do the second coat tomorrow. I may put some more of these white beads along here. We'll see. We will see. But that'll be done tomorrow. And now I'm just going to do... <clears throat> Can you see over here? We are going to, oh, dogs are barking. We are going to, oops. Oops. Okay, that's as high up as I can get you, and I can't move the wood. So we are going to, I'm going to pour. I'm using a gold, that's what I want. This is Color Passions Royal Gold, soft gold, soft gold. Very pretty. And I put a tiny touch, tiny touch of copper in it. And it didn't really change the color, but that's okay, I just wanted to see. And this, May not be enough, but I can do a second coat tomorrow. Gotta let it get down through the crack. Okay. with alcohol you do it slowly because it takes some time to move it around it's 
filling in this little crack down here. At the top. We are definitely at the top. Yes, I'm pushing it, I know, but I can wipe any extra off with alcohol. Okay, definitely leave it right there. I'll use that gold in a mold for these beautiful sparkly shells from Color Passion. I love this mold. They turn out so sparkly. I will definitely order this again when I put in another order for restock for the Color Passion line. Okay, guys. We are going to leave it right there. Uh, so don't forget, let me know what you would like on the website in MDF shapes. Message, private message me or leave a message down here or, or send me an email. Uh, I could talk to my wood guy and, you know, if it's something that everybody would like, I can get him to make... A bunch of them and uh, put them on the website all brand new colors are coming tint colors are coming in that are gorgeous you're going to love them uh, tints just seem to be flying off the shelves right now because people are realizing the tints are so easy to use they're full uh, opaque color, uh, no mess with the bottles. And if the little squirt things get stuck, you just stick a pin in it. Uh, they last for such a long time because you only need just a bit. But new colors are coming in. I'm bringing back the glitters, at least most of them. Um, all Definitely all the fines and a couple of the chunkies because... The chunkies are not such a big thing, but yes, and they will stay at uh, two fifty a jar. Um, I know right now they're on sale for two dollars, but that was because I, you know, I didn't think that it was something you guys wanted, and now all of a sudden they're going like crazy. So, um, yeah, we're doing that. So, look out for the new colors. I will let you know when they're in, and we'll do a reveal on here. Let me know about the MDF shapes. Stay safe. Keep yourself healthy. Summer's almost here. Well, at least for us at this side of the world, sorry time. <laughs> it's winter for them, but that's okay. Um, you know, just stay safe and be happy and treat each other nicely, guys. Come on. This is all we've got. And this, if this doesn't smarten you up, this is the whole world. This isn't just us. If this doesn't smarten us up and make us see that somebody's trying to tell us something. Yeah, I know there's conspiracy theories left, right, and center. What I believe and what I'm saying right now, um, well, I believe this, but I also believe in a few other things. But I do believe that, you know, for the planet, if you can't tell if you haven't watched the news, the planet is healing. The planet is just fabulous. The animals, the pollution is almost gone. The animals are freaking coming out of the woodwork because they just feel safer. If this doesn't tell us that this is our last chance, you get a second chance. If we blow it this time, I think Mother Nature is just going to say bye-bye. <laughs> Screw you. Go find another place to live. You know? So... Come on, be kind to each other. This is all we've got. Have a great evening, guys. Bye for now.